Tonight we are working in the third grade World Turn Practice Book. We are going to work on pages 41 and 47 today. Here are our vocabulary words for the week. Use the context clues in each sentence to help you decide which vocabulary word fits best in the blank. So whenever something says fits best, that means that something else could fit there, but we want to see what the best choice is. So let's do the first few together. The art museum was one of Phoebe's favorite places to visit. It was a blank and an important historical site. So if we look here, we need to see the clue is an important historical site. So a very important historical site is called a landmark. So we're gonna put the word landmark. In fact, it housed so many great works of art, it was considered a blank treasure. So a treasure is something that's very important and because it's saying it's an art museum, it's a historical site, it's called a national treasure. By most people. Each time she visited the museum, she smiled. There was always a blank adventure or story around every corner. So if it's an adventure or a story, we would say that it was a grand adventure because she's saying she's having a really great time because she smiled each time she visited the museum. There was always a grand adventure. Now we have used the word national, landmark, and grand. You're going to finish reading this paragraph and filling in the words, the other vocabulary words, massive, carved, monument, clues, and traces. And each will make sense where they go in the sentence. Now let's go to page 47. On page 47, it's the same thing, context clues. Read each sentence. Underline the context clues that help you figure out the meaning of each word in bold. Then write the meaning of the word on the line. Use a dictionary to help you. Okay, so we're going to use the context clues. We're gonna underline them to help us figure out the meaning of the word. Today, there are over 70 Native American mounds left. And the word that helps me is today and left means that they're still remaining because it's saying the 70 Native American mounds are left. So remaining. It could also mean like this is my right hand, this is my left hand, but because we're saying today there are, we're talking about something is still remaining. Number two, when you get to the corner, you should turn left so the word turn and corner help us know that this is our left as in direction on the left is the opposite of right. And I wrote opposite OPP with a period to shorten the word so it fit on the line. All right, number two, three. At Fort Ancient Mounds, People used clamshells to dig the dirt. They also used sticks. So we're talking about digging. So we said they used clamshells to dig the dirt. These are context clues that help us know what the word stick. A tool used to dig. I'm gonna put like a tree branch. Kind of like the stick part of the tree branch. Number four, when you add glue to the paper, it sticks to any surface. So I'm gonna put the word glue, underline that, paper and surface. Those all help me know that this kind of stick is not the tool, um, it means that something is sticky. So something will Sorry, A D H E R adhere to a surface. S adhere is another word for stick to a surface. Now I want you to do five and six. These two have the word stories. Underline your clues. 